guys welcome to the Dara education project video tutorial series for HTML for beginners uh, this is session number two and in this session we will learn some uh, 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 basic uh, tags like um, heading tags or paragraph tags or PRE tags something like that uh, one thing uh, you will understand that if you want to learn the basics and the other thing then you uh, uh, implement that things and uh, and see uh, what is the difference between uh, them one thing I want to know uh, told you that HTML is not a pure language it means that no error will be shown if you will use uh, wrong uh, uh, tags in your website uh, so first of all uh, we will uh, go and just save this file uh, with uh, the name of the uh, basic uh, tags uh, dot HTML as I told you that you will save it with all files and just save it HTML uh, now uh, the first tag which I was dis uh, which I tried to discuss is heading tags you can see that heading tags uh, use uh, H is for heading and one is the uh, a number of the heading uh, I just want to close it there are six heading tags uh, it means h1 h2 this is a heading number two I think heading, this is heading one this is heading number one and uh, h2 you need to close the tag with the same as you open it uh, heading number three H4, this is heading number 4, H4, H5, uh, this is heading number 5, and H6, this is uh, heading number 6 okay I uh, just want to close it and save it control s for saving it and now I will open it here control o and here is the basic tax file and you can see this is uh, a heading one two three four five six these are the six headings uh, in the HTML and it is predefined h1 stands for heading one and you need to close it for example if you will not close it then what will happen you just go and check it out and this is uh, going to be refreshed so you need to understand that uh, if you started another tag and as I, I told you earlier that it is not a complete uh, a pure programming language so if you miss someone then it means uh, that uh, uh, it will not show any kind of error yeah, as it is I told you that there are the six items but if you try to use like this heading 344 and this is heading number 344 now just check it out it will not show any kind of error rather it will convert it into a, a, a paragraph text or plain text so you can say that if it will not show it in the uh, form of the heading tag it will ignore it so uh, you should remember that the HTML we can know all those tags which are not available in the browsers so one more tag is here and that is known as a P tag this is the this is known as the paragraph tag the tag is every is predefined and it is not a case sensitive remember that if you will use any tag between less than and greater than then and uh, then uh, it is called the tag if you use the paragraph text then it will show the in 
information in the form of the paragraph if you will use any uh, next line it will ignore it it will ignore all kind of spaces all kind of line breaks and show the data uh, in one paragraph okay and now I will close this paragraph and just go and refresh our page and see what will happen you can see that it will ignore uh, all kind of line breaks spaces and show the data in just uh, one paragraph so this is another tag and if there is another tag that is uh, PRE tag PRE tag is used this tag is used as pre-formatted uh, paragraph it means that it will show the information on the website as you will write in your notepad I will just close PRE and just save this file and uh, refresh this page. Okay, you can see there is a difference between uh, uh, P and PRE. Uh, it will preserve all kind of spaces, line breaks and everything as written in the notepad. While uh, it will ignore, uh, it will not ignore anything uh, as you mention in your PRE tag. So, this is another tag and now we will choose something uh, another tag which is uh, a bold uh, B tag it means it will bold the tag and if I want to bold it I will use B tag B B stands for the bold tag and uh, if I want to close it I just close it here B tag bold you can see that it will bold the uh, text here okay uh, and and uh, there is another tag that is known as the italic tag and is for this i will use i tag and uh, here is the closing i and just refresh it you can see that this information from the here text then it will show the information it will be in the italic form and if you want to use underline then you will use u tag here and here is the u tag just save it and you can see that the line was underlined uh, the text was underlined so remember that uh, uh, you can use that these tag as much as you need it and uh, um, and according to your requirement there is no limitation that this uh, you will not use b uh, for how many times and i for how many times you can use it as uh, you need uh, in our your website so thank you very much and uh, please watch our next tutorials and subscribe our channel like it thank you very much and uh, in the next video tutorial we are discussing the ordered and unordered list thank you very much and allah